problem is again, all my people only move two, so they just they don't move that fast. But they march in like beautiful unison. You, you it's guys gorgeous. see it? It's tonk, 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 And then all and they sing. They do it's sing. Great. They sing the whole time. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Murph. Today on the Game House, we are playing Burning Banners Boom. by Compass Games, who are sponsoring this play. Thank you so much, Compass Games. Thank you, Compass Games. This is a fantasy it. war game that yes. has a whole bunch of different scenarios in it. Absolutely. There's different factions and, and uh, alliances being made and stuff. This is a game that you're going to go through different scenarios and campaigns, which are... Yeah. Uh, ultimately covering a, a, a long, decades-long, century-long war. Strife between the, in this whole land, basically. Yes. Between like dwarves and orcs and stuff yes, like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Each faction has their own kind of thing that they do, yeah. uh, different ways of operating, and there'll be different missions based on uh, what you're playing. There's going to be invaders, resistance, things yeah. like that. And it's cool. There's a whole bunch of difference for each player count. Yes. So all these missions are specific to those player counts, and they're all different. It's really, really cool. So we're going to get into a quick overview of Burning Banners, talk a little bit about the scenario that we're going to be playing, and then we're going to get right into it. In Burning Banners, players will be playing through various scenarios based on player count, controlling kingdoms either as the invader or the resistance. Depending on the player count and scenario, you'll be given specific instructions and maps to use. Each player will represent a kingdom, each with their own armies and specific rules and abilities. Once the board is set with settlements, players take turns building armies, moving and attacking enemies while vying for control of the board. Units all have a movement rating and a combat rating. Players can activate each ready army moving across the board, including using ship movement along the coasts, rivers, and seas. When adjacent to an enemy settlement or army, you can attack. When attacking, you will roll light dice and heavy dice based on that unit's combat value. Light dice are six-sided and heavy are eight-sided, and when you go to attack, you will roll gaining successes on five and above. Defenders get to roll as well, and certain hex types like mountain terrain, for example, grant the defender an extra light dice to roll as they have the advantage of the terrain they are on. A player defending a city as well will have a permanent garrison allowing them to roll three additional light dice. Once all dice are rolled, players compare results, and if the attacker has more results than their opponent, they deal damage equal to the difference in successes. This may allow the attacking player to move into that settlement and loot it, gaining gold. Most kingdoms also produce gold each turn, equal to their income level, which is raised by placing control markers on the board. Gold can be used to create new armies in a friendly entry hacks or in or adjacent to a friendly settlement. This may allow you to defend held positions or give you fresh troops to further your advantage. If you have any units that are weakened due to being attacked, you can also pay the recovery costs in gold to keep them on the battlefield. Players will go back and forth positioning, strengthening, and attacking the opposing team until one side has either every kingdom of theirs collapsed by having all their cities raised, or if at the end of a season a player has satisfied the victory condition laid out in the campaign settings. In this particular scenario, the Oathborn represent the resistance who are trying to fend off and outlast the Orcs. The Orcs look to have control or have raised six settlements at the end of any one season. If at the end of a season they have done this, they win. The Oathborn win if they survive three seasons without the Orcs taking over. The Oathborn are special in that they have a unique unit, a miner, who can work the mines to produce extra gold. The Orcs are a Shashka kingdom and gain extra money from looting, but they must pay one gold for each control marker on the board during the income step, and if at the end of any season the Orcs do not have at least one control marker on the board, their kingdom collapses and that player loses. They must be ultra aggressive, always claiming new territory, and they flood in from the east of the map. The Oathborn Dwarves must stay true to their hardy selves and outlast the Orcs. Mike, I'll tell you right now, I don't care what the scenario is. There is one thing I'm doing this game, and it's defending Muffin Town. <laughs> It's the only thing I'm doing. I have a long way to go to get to I'm Muffin not, Town. You can take in, you can burn the entire map down. I will sail in a You're gosh never, dang canoe up here to raise You're never taking Muffin, Muffin Town. Town to the ground. You know how amazing that area will smell if I oh burn it to the my ground? Oh gosh, yes, dude. I almost Muffin would let Town? you at that point. Forget about it. The year is 584, Nick. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, we are we are we are the uh, orcs versus the oathborn dwarves. Orcs and dwarves. Classic adversaries. Always, always. If we've learned anything, these yeah. fools do not get along. They sure don't. They sure don't. All right. Don't. Uh, and we've had uh, kind of, uh, in this game, of course, you're, you're going over long spans of time yes. and, and various conflicts. Each scenario is kind of zooming in on a specific conflict yeah. in the history of this of these lands. Yeah, and the conflicts are all different player counts. So this one yes. is specifically for two players. Yes. And so the Dwarven Kingdoms, like once upon a time, like drove the orcs back, yeah. kind of went into hiding in the mountains. They retreated. Like now they they're do. back out and they're working the lands yeah, and yeah. stuff. And the orcs are kind of like, we're pressing coming our advantage in. again. They're coming in, yeah. Pressing our advantage again. So yes, this is one of the uh, scenarios that is designed for uh, two players. Uh, as we kind of went over in the uh, example and so stuff, the yeah. overview, a little bit about what our uh, factions can do. So I'm the orcs, and the main thing for me, yeah. I'm one of the Shashka armies, and like I basically, 
I have to you be you ultra aggressive. Yeah. I'm not here like setting up a town. You don't settle down. Orcs don't you like. You don't settle down. Don't farm. You burn stuff to the ground. I burn stuff to the ground and <laughs> I keep orcs. moving yeah. and looting. That's how yeah. I kind of like propel yeah. myself. But you actually are, have like an income situation. You're making yes. money. You're working those mines. Yeah. You know what I mean. So I um, I have to kind of keep pressing my advantage, keep trying to take as much as I can. In fact, I'll win if at the end of a season, which is like one, each of us taking a turn, yeah. end of a round, for example, if I have six control markers or raised yeah. markers out on the board, at that time win. I win. But you are second player, so you have a chance to retort, yes. right? After I go. Yes. Um, yeah, so you're the you're the Oathborn. You can work mines. You're the only faction that can pop these mines. Yeah, so there's a couple different mines on the board right here. Uh, and wait, I can, I can, wait, tink, 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 Matt. Hi-ho! That's Hi what I meant. Hi-ho! I'll see, yeah. I'm working on the railroad. <laughs> it's song. not different song. There's no railroads here. Um, yeah, so I have a special <laughs> troop here, the miners, and the yeah. miners, one can fight. They're very not good at fighting, but they can, yeah. technically. But if they're pickaxe. on mine spots, one of the actions I can do, and this is only for the Oathborn, is I can essentially mine that mine, and I'll get a coin. And again, a big part of the game is that you can buy troops mid-turn. Yes. So it's yeah, one of those yeah. things where it's like, I can mine with my miners and then hopefully use that gold to do stuff or at least save it till next turn and bring people in. Exactly. Um, and yeah, so I, I'm like dwarves. I'm not very fast. Like all my people except for one, I only movement two, so I can't, you, you're much faster than I am. Generally. Um, but yeah, that's you're what I mean. And then also, yeah, I'm, I got stocky legs. And the other thing is, is when I'm moving in mountain spaces, I don't have a plus one movement penalty. So yeah, normally if you're, you're moving into forests, swamps, or mountains, it takes one extra movement point to move into there. I don't in mountains because I'm dwarves. So this is this is your happy zone. That's where I live. Right? Okay. That's where you live. But I if I'm going to swamps or forests, I would <clears throat> I imagine it. a dwarf in a swamp <coughs> immediately sinks so fast. Oh dude. And he's not that tall, so he's just yeah, like, just boom. like help. Hello. <laughs> my beard is soaked. I'm, I'm I need help. I, I beard weight. I need an adult. So yeah, so that's my thing. So we've already set up, so each um, player, in this case I got 15 gold, Mike got 16 gold. We got to essentially set up by troops and put them onto the board. Yep. Um, and we've already done that. And so I got a couple, one person down here, a couple people up here, a couple people already in mines and stuff so I can get that income going uh, real quick there. And then Mike will always be coming in, for the most part, from this side yes. of the board so right I'm coming here. from the east in waves and stuff. If I get control markers on the settlements, I can then build out from yep. there, but... Uh, I have these entry hexes, which is a unique feature for, for myself here. Yeah. And you, of course, have your established lands. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've done our opening builds. So you get a certain amount of money to do your opening builds with. Yeah. Um, so I've kind of set up some stuff. Nick set up some stuff. And we're ready to begin. We only have three seasons to play through yeah, in one year. So it's basically three rounds, three turns. Um, and again, my only goal is to get six control markers or raise markers at, by, and have them stay on the board till the end of a round. Yeah. Your only goal is to outlast yep. me. If you I get through me, yep. all three of those rounds, then uh, and, you're good. Um, the uh, these spots and all the neutral spots are all friendly to me. Well, not friendly to me, but they're um, they're welcoming to me. Welcome which to means you. I can walk into these all these spots without having to fight them. Whereas Mike, everything's against Mike, and nothing, so nothing's any of these cities, true. they will uh, try and fight back. Basically, yeah, basically. So I'm gonna be first players. Yep. First thing you want to start with is an income turn. Um, for me, since I don't have an income track to speak of, and I don't have any control markers or anything out here yet, there's nothing for me to quite do yet. You're going to see how it's going to play out. Basically, during the income step, if I have any of these control markers yep. out, that's great, but I have to pay gold because I don't have any infrastructure, essentially. Yeah, yeah, you're having So controlling stuff is actually hard for me. I yes. can choose to raise something and, and loot it and get three gold out of that. Yeah. But um, I then can't use it to build out of. So yeah. I have to make sure that I have... Uh, money to pay for those control markers, and if at the end of a season, end of my, uh, and end of a season, if I don't have any control markers on the map, my kingdom collapses as well. So I have a few different ways I can lose. You do, um, yeah. And I got to try to avoid that. So um, all of my units can move and attack and stuff. I'm just gonna move my siege engine. It's a little slow guy. I'm just gonna kind of move it. I'm gonna go there and okay. just kind of have that be, and I'll kind of turn them sideways like this to indicate that uh, that is now. Yeah, so if things are facing exhausted. up, they'll be active. If they're sideways, that means they're not gonna be yeah. active. I'm gonna move my ogre here. I'm gonna get my big doge. Oh, gray. I'm gonna go one, two, three next to here. This is a fortified settlement, so I'm gonna have minus one of my rolls, or rather, I need to roll a six or above to yes. hit. But I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to see if I can attack that. If I get my siege engine up here, I get to negate that. But that won't happen because yet. it's a neutral sediment. They have a, a sediment se settlement. They have a garrison, so um, yes, they essentially will roll one one light die. And my ogre is my big dog, so I've got two heavy dice, two light dice. But again, I need six enough to hit. Which so I'm gonna see that. if I can get this done. Oh, three. Uh, oh, I we rolled, got a seven. I roll a seven, which is a critical hit. So I get to roll. These are all misses, but I get to roll a uh, an extra 
die. And if this is also a hit, again, six, it's confirmed. Not Ooh, quite, not but quite. I do have one hit. You only needed one anyway. I only needed one anyway. Nick didn't roll any successes, so one allows me wow. to take this. Last time we were playing this game, Mike, it took Mike like two <laughs> whole seasons to get that one. <laughs> so I'm going to move in and loot it instantly, which gets me three gold. Typically, it's two to loot. Uh, but that's part of the Shashk army. Yeah, the benefit. orcs are not leaving anything behind. They're just like, I'm no. taking this bread. I'm yeah. taking that stuff, that cool armor. I'm taking this. Like, <laughs> they take everything. So they're going to be exhausted. I'm going to place a control marker out here, which allows me then I can build out uh, from, from this location if I like. I think I'm going to move my, my wolf rider one, two, three. They have four movements. So I'm going to actually go four, but I'm going to attack here okay. in this settlement. Uh, which again will have the normal standard garrison, but they're not fortified, so I can hit on fives and yes. above. And I roll one heavy and two light dice for my wolf yep. rider. Boom, oop, two. Oof. All right, I got one Start success. All right, that's gonna be another success. We're gonna move in. You have to move into a hostile settlement, yep. uh, which will allow me to loot it. I think I'll put a control marker here as well. Okay. I mean, keep on, Mike's gonna have to pay one gold during the income phase for each of his control markers. Yeah. So, so I kinda, I can't like, I, I can't just blow all my cash. Yeah. <laughs> but I do want to make sure I'm getting stuff done. Have you already done a decent amount? I mean, two? Yeah. Um, let's see. With my friends here, I'm just going to go one, two, three. There won't be an action for me to take. Um, I think my friend here, I'm just going to go one, two. And then... I think I'm gonna build out a couple things just to kind of protect what I have a little bit. Okay. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna build for one gold a piece, a couple of orc scouts. And okay. these guys, since they're not in a settlement, so they're gonna come in in the finished position. So they're not gonna be available for use just yet. Um, but they can maybe help me defend a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. And then, oh boy, um, I think I'll spend two more, mm. I'm going to spend two more to bring in an Orc Reaver right here, and that's going to be it for me. Okay. I think, I think I can, yeah. Yeah. Mm, tough. It's a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Okay. So that's Mikey then. Yes, sir. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring all your people back. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm just re-ready them. This is not normally something ready. you do at the start of your turn, but... Oh, you do at the start of your turn. But since I'm done anyway, it won't be a problem. It won't matter. Problem. Okay, so um, for me, so first thing I'll do is get income. I start on eight, so I'll get eight bucks. Nice. And then I can bring some people in. Again, it's one of those things, if I'm not bringing them into cities, they're going to be not ready to go. So I actually kind of wish I had not put these people like directly in those cities. That's okay. So what we'll do is I will go, I'm gonna spend so eight, oh sorry, I have eight. So actually I'm gonna spend all eight. I'm just gonna bring in two of these iron legions. I'm gonna bring one in here so they will be ready. Mm -hmm. And then, whew. The problem is, again, all my people only move two, so they just, they don't move that fast. But they march in, like, beautiful unison. You, you guys gorgeous. see it. I mean, it's gorgeous. Tonk, 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 And then all... And they sing. They do it's sing. Great. They sing the whole time. You know? Um, it, it does make it very apparent when they're yeah. arriving to fight you, because you can hear them. I'll put uh, them here. Yodeling. They're going to come in not ready, though, because um, they're not in a city. Okay. So, okay, so that's me. So, um, I'll go ahead and go. The first thing I'm going to do is... Uh, move this miner into this mine. They have two movement, but you can see I'm on this road. If you're ever starting and finishing your, your movement on a road, basically, you get an extra movement because it's easier to get. So I'm going to go like one, two, and then three into that mine there. And again, it doesn't take me the extra movement to move into mountains because I'm the oath, Oathborn. Um, and then I'm going to have all three of my miners mine because they're all in mines. And nice. so I'm going to get three coins. Nice. Boom. So we're going to go bam, bam, bam. So they're all done. Okay, so then, man, you are, you're around. Um, I'm trying to be. I'm know. going to, oof. I'm trying to be I'm out trying here. To think. So I could move up this river with these two, but that's going to be my main action. I see. And, oof. 
Hmm. Let's do this. Let's move them here. That's going to be one, two movement because I'm moving into a swamp. Sure. And then I'm going to attack this orc reaver across this river. Now, the problem with doing that, Mike's going to get an extra... Um, I'm going to get an extra two light dice because this is a major oh, river yeah, right. denoted by the kind of four lines. It's a little thicker. These ones are smaller and minor rivers will give you me one extra die. So I'm going to, in this case, roll a heavy die and then three white yeah. uh, light dice. I'm going to go for it regardless just because... Yeah, you never know, man. Yeah, I'm like... I, I, these, you got two here. heavy dice and a light, so you have some chances of some critical... Yeah, it's just kind of not ideal. Oh. Well, I got two hits, two uh, successes. I rolled one success. Okay. So I hit Mike once, which means they're going to be wounded here. Okay, well, that's good at least. I'm banged up. Boom. And then I think I am going to have them go up this river. Um, sure. And that's going to be my main action. And you have to move before your action. So I'm in a port, so I can move six. Yep. You're doing a... So I'm going to go uh, one, two, three. Let's go four, and we'll just stop there. Sure. Boom. Nice. Sailing up the river. Yeah, yeah, trying. Okay, and then I think, man, the problem is you are just, none of your people are really, I don't think I'm going to be able to really attack like any of these people. I'm just not close enough to them. Um, but I can, I'll go one, two, three. Again, they get an extra movement because they are mm. on a road. Go in there, which means if Mike tries to take this, they will have to go through my Oath Taker. Don't love that. Um, and then I'll go one, two, three here with them. And then I have three coins, which means I could bring in another King's... Now, this is empty, so you can even bring someone in Yeah, ready. exactly. I'm going to bring another King's Crossbow into here. And, oof. I'm just going to go one, two right Sweet. there. Boom. Well, I mean, you've, you've created yeah, some Yeah, I mean, traffic. kind of... Yeah, it's just going to be... Uh, mm. wasn't able to hit as much but hey that's gonna be what it is okay so that is me that's all my people all right so um, both of us done boom. with the first turn we're gonna quickly check to see is there a victory i yep. only have two control markers out i need six never mind control slash raise markers are also just fine for me i do not have that uh i do need to make sure i have at least one control marker on the board at this time i do so i do not lose i don't fall into collapse you love it. uh so we're gonna move on into summer we're gonna reset like that and then we're ready to go again. So now I do have at least one control marker on the board. So now that rule of uh, needing to pay for control yes. markers and then also having control markers on the board. Yes. That doesn't go into effect until I play something down, which I absolutely did. So now I need to pay one gold per control marker yep. I have out, but I can lay waste, which means I can just replace this with a raise marker, looting it, gaining three gold out of it, but then I don't have the ability to, to kind of operate out of that yes. space. <sighs> um, and you got to go take four more. I know. I think I do need the money a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm going to I'm gonna lay waste to this. Okay. And I'm going to replace it with a raise marker, which still helps me get to my goal. And I get three gold out of that. Again, normally you get two, but I get to loot it when I do this lay waste action. So that's kind yeah. of a... Uh, that's nice. Um, a special thing that I get to do here. So I get a little bit more money to operate with. I think I'm going to do that for now, just because I'm going to keep the control marker here. There's more people. I might have more need. Um, so, yeah, let's do, to start, I'm going to move my ogre out of my little settlement here. I'm going to go one, two, up to here and try to attack this settlement. Okay. So I've got two heavy dice, two light dice. You'll have the standard garrison since, since it is uh, uh, on... Actually, I'm going to go here on the, along the road, if that's okay. Sure. No, actually, I'll stick with what I did. Never mind. I'm decisive. The point is, I'm decisive. Okay. So we're going to do that. Let's see if we can get this done. Yo! No oh, success. I didn't do nothing to you either, so. Oh, Darn, no. Darn, that's a bummer. Oh, gosh. Okay. I mean, you need five and sixes. Which, again, you're drawing D8s, which makes yeah. that a bit easier. But yeah, it's five and sixes on a D6 is Ooh. not the easiest. So now, Ooh. gosh, dang it. Um, all right, I'm going to move... Mm, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move a, a, an Orc Scout. Oh, boy. Can I do it? Now I'm all scared. Because I'll be two light dice? Yeah, yeah. Scouts are not, uh, not the strongest. Yeah. Darn it. Yeah. Let me, let me do this. I'm going to spend two gold. 
I'm going to bring an Orc Reaver into the settlement, which means they'll come in ready, and I'm going to move them over here so I have a heavy dice and a light dice, and I'll attack uh, Urit once again. Okay. Let's see if we can get it done. Ooh, All right. Okay. I only rolled a four. Yep. All right, so I got a critical success. I can roll a confirm. Boom. Nope. Didn't matter, so I'll have one got hit him. anyway. Uh, but it's just fun to do. Um, so do I want to do this? Do I want to put a raise marker... And I can this get rid like, of raise markers. Yes. If, if I'm in a spot with a raise marker, I can spend two gold to get rid of it. So there are ways for me to get rid of them. Now, granted, Mike would have to be out of that spot. Yeah. I think I'm going to put a control marker out because, again, I, I, I can't be left without any control. Yes. Um, and I still get the three gold for looting. So that's not, not the end of the world. No, yeah. Um, let's see here. What to do? <laughs> um... Okay, I think I'm gonna. Oh, it raised that area. So, see, this is a problem. I already made. Yeah. Made a little bit of a. You can, you can move those people, but that's about it. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna move one, and I'm gonna move across the river, which takes two extra movement. So it's gonna take two, three to get here, but they have four movement total. And I'm gonna attack that settlement with my wolf rider. I think it is to move across a major. I think it's an extra two. Yeah. So it would be, I guess, one, oh, so two, three, four, two, three, sure. four yeah. yeah. Where the minor rivers are only plus one, but I can't have the to do that yeah. regardless, but yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to attack. Ooh, a six. You did get a critical success. Oh, so we're tied at this point. So we need to confirm this. Ooh, no. nothing. Stalemate there. Dang it. All right. You're so tired from crossing that river. Yeah, it took a lot. I mean, it had to doggy paddle across. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to spend four of my gold and bring in a black axe here in my entry mm. hex. I'm going to move one, two, eh, I'll go one, two, three. I can move into here. This is just, since it's raised, it's just considered like terrain now. If there's nothing. Yes. Nothing to remind ground. ourselves of things, but I'm going to attack okay. your, uh, hey, you got a heavy hitter there too. So yeah. I've got three light dice and a heavy. Like Iron Legion. You've got two heavy and a light. Yeah. I'll try to wipe you out here. Oh, I got this nothing. A, I say this is a cock die. What do you reckon? Sure. Yeah. All right. Doesn't matter. Right, You're going to be Three successes. Regardless. No crits. Yep. So I rolled none. So that's three hits. So that's one, two, and then three. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Just want to give a little more protection to this. Yeah, area. that's good. That's that's huge right there. Um, dang, that sucks. Okay, oof. And then I guess my orc reaver. I'm just gonna do a um, a ship movement. I guess I could take one, two, three because uh, of the swamp. Yeah, so uh, one, two, three, I'm gonna four. take a ship movement, which will be my whole action. To move across the river into the swamp. Okay. That's really all they can do, but that's something. Um, okay. Moving on up here. I have space here. I can still produce. I think I'm just going to produce an orc scout okay. in this location for one gold. And let's go. I'm going to move one here and attack this miner. Ooh. With my two light dice. All right, one hit. Nothing. All right, so they're they're wounded. They're they're banged up a little bit, and then this person's exhausted. Um, gotta have gold. I must have gold. I need gold for my mountain operations. Um. You got two control markers out there too, yeah. so you need to make sure you have two at the end of your round. I'm gonna bring my siege engine over here. And then I think I'm going to bring an Orc Reaver down here and attack the Oath Taker. Okay. That's your big dog. Yeah, but again, with dice, well, you never really know. Uh, I two. I rolled a critical so I oh. can confirm this. Oh, right, finally. So two. Two to two. Two to two, so nothing doing. All right. All right. Um, and I'll use this to go one, two across the river and attack. I'll attack the Oath Taker again. See if I can get, get some damage, at least one hit on yeah, it. Yeah, right. Gotta try. 
One hit. One hit. Oh, okay. All right. He's I stout. think that's about all I can do. I'm going to save a couple gold for the future. Okay. And, uh, yeah. I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be, but maybe I'm set up yeah, hopefully but for the you did, next. You did, yeah, you, I think you're set go. up pretty well. We only have three, so you, this next turn you need I to gotta really get and keep hit it. get and keep three, which is gonna be tough, but yeah. it's not impossible. I really, I need to get like four. Yeah, because the thing is, I go after Mikey. Yeah. I can flip that one. Beep. All right, so my income is still gonna be eight. Okay, so you did take out one of my Iron Legions. I want to make sure the problem is I'm kind of like blocked myself here. You formed a blockade for yourself. Yeah, kind of. And so, okay, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two Iron Legion. These cost four, this is my eight. I'm gonna go here, and then can you put me up there in Auger? Okay. Um, first things first is I'm going to have all three of my miners mine where they are. Nice. So it's gonna be an extra three, which I'll probably use to bring in something, but we'll see. Okay, I think Let's go ahead and have this Iron Legion attack this Orc Reaver. Sure. I don't need a move to do so, so let's go ahead and do that. Whoop. I rolled one Ooh. success. Three plus a crit. All right. Three will still do. It's a difference of two, so I lose my unit. They come okay. back to my board. That's good. Um, I'm going to move them up. I'll go one, two into here. Yep, so they're friendly to you, so you can move right yep. into that settlement. You can even place a control marker out if you like. Ooh. I think I will, because that's going to up my, um, that is going to up my income. Yeah. Because I'll get an extra coin, too. And then I will go ahead and attack this uh, Wolf Rider. Nice. From inside the city, which won't make any kind of difference in terms of what I roll, but feels good to be on a wall. Feels nice. It's like that one scene in Gimli where he's like trying to look over the wall. Yeah. You know? What's happening out there? Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? <laughs> Yeah, I rolled one critical. Let me just try to confirm that real quick. Nope. Ooh, so I got two. three hits. Three hits. They are damaged. They are damaged. Because always oh, just a difference. Oh, darn. Three hits. I still only got one hit on you. That's yeah, I had to roll as good as I could to stay alive. Oof. Okay, so now there's this kind of big, like, wall of people. I'm not going to be able to oof, get there. But let's go ahead. We're just going to go one, two. Again, moving into mountains is uh, free for me. Or rather, it's it's... No penalty for me. Um, hmm. Let's. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna move them here and then sure. attack this orc reaver with my king's crossbow. So the king's crossbows um, are ranged. So what range does is if Mike and I are tied, like say we both do two successes. Uh, range people break ties. You get to do one damage. They get to do so essentially kinda... one damage, yeah. which is nice. <sighs> Two. No, oh, one, sorry. One. Rather. Okay, well, you might be able to beat it. Let's go confirm. Nope. Nope. Okay, so now we are tied. In that case, I do one damage. Punk. Ah! God dang. I could catch the arrow in midair, and it just went. <laughs> ah, oh. my shoulder. I'm okay. Just and then I'm going to attack wound. this Orc Reaver again with my Oath Taker here. How dare Try you? Try to knock that one out. All right, I'm rolling one heavy, one light again. All right. Ha! Ah. All right, two successes. Oh, nothing. Oh, you're going to kill him. Ah! I rolled nothing. So that's one. Oh, that's bad. I was emboldened by the bloodlust. Wow. Yeah, you really from, did. From the wound I took. You took that one. <laughs> wow, straight to the hip. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Okay, then I'm going to move them in here. Well, in that case, do I move in? Oh, maybe. The winner may advance and the defender's hex if emptied. Oh, must advance if the hex is a settlement. Oh, Boom. wow. I wasn't expecting to lose that one. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that's bad because I just gave Money. Mikey that. Okay, so then what I'm going to do then. Okay, so I'm going to shoot again at this Orc Reaver with this crossbow, which is what I was about to do anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll see how long my. Because if I can get him out of there, I can, I can pop back in there. I got some money out of it, though. Ooh, got one crit. No successes. And so one. Okay. One is enough. <laughs> get out of here. So boom, I can remove your control this marker. It's contentious. So you get to loot. You get two gold out yes, of that. Yes, that's right. Because I get to loot because I'm looting, essentially. Looting my armies, they scamper away. Mike's little stronghold there. I'll put a control there, which will give me another uh, income. Okay, and then they're done. I think I'm going to move you one, two... 
Nice. Um, boom. Did I have them go? I don't think I did. Did I have them go? I think they attacked They the did, yes. No, no, they area. did. Okay, and I think that's it. I have five bucks, though, so I should, I'm going to bring back in my Oath Taker. Sure. Um, I'm going to bring them in here so they can move this turn. Nice. Can I move through people? Uh, you can move through your own. Okay, so I'm just going to go you one, two, three, then. So we're playing a basic game here, so yes. there's certain things like stacking armies that are going to come into play in advanced yes. play, along with heroes and monsters. There really is quite yeah. a bit to explore. We wanted to kind of there keep is, it yeah. simpler for y'all for uh, this game, but there's a ton more stuff. Yeah, anything that comes red in, on yeah. these players, it's stuff all that's all advanced, advanced game yeah. stuff. There's like magic cards. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff yes. in there. We decided to play the base game for this playthrough just yeah. to make it a little easier to, to take in. To grow. All right, so it. I um, spent these five, and I think that's all I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to check... Um, because we're at the end of the season, we've both taken our turn here. Yep. Has Mikey won? No, nope. but I do have three things out there, and I do have control, so I don't collapse. Exactly. All right, so now we're going into Autumn, which is going to be the last round of the game, and it's going to be Mikey's turn. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly refresh my peeps before I go into a little income, and i got some decisions to make. Not so sure. Yeah, it's like, what do you think you can take, and then right. hopefully stay there and hold? Yeah. I think I'm going to I'm going to lay waste to this. Okay. And put a raise marker out and get 3 gold out of that. Yep. Um So then I only have to pay the one control uh gold. Oops, yep. for my one marker. That's here. Um And then I think I think what I'm going to do, I really have to try to get as much <laughs> control as I can, yeah. Because you're gonna get the last laugh, yes. right? So, and it's tough because like this, this kind of whole side of the board, at least for you, is like basically impossible to get to. So you're kind of like, you're kind of, there's a lot of settlements. There's like one down here and some yeah. of that, like cities you can go. So, yeah, for. you can get down here with this person. You could because if I, I'm staying on the road, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, but I gotta like, really. It's, it's, you do have to. Come I have to kind of protect it too. Far. Yes, yeah. and that's the problem. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from here to here with this person because there's a little mountain road that I'm traveling. Oh yeah, there's a little. Boom, there. boom! It's beautiful this time of year. The foliage and stuff, the cliff sides. It's nice, beautiful. you know. Uh, really beautiful. So I'm gonna Time take this trees. and attack this settlement right okay. here with my orc reaver. One heavy, one light. They will have their standard garrisons and since, since it is unoccupied. Um, Ooh, one, two successes. Oh, and one's crit, so I could confirm it. Hey, you got confirm. one. Confirm. <laughs> hey. All right. So I'm gonna move in here. Yeah. Um, nice. I think I'm just gonna uh, put control. Just gonna put so control. You want the money? Oh, I guess you. I get money either way. Well, that's if you, I guess if you raise it, you get double money then. No, I get. I, it's oh, no, just, you, you, so that's when you lay waste. Yeah, you lay waste. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I do. I'm put control out because I'm thinking like it's nice because you have to pay. Yes. To um, get rid of raised markers. Yes. But I want to make sure I have lots of control. Yes. <laughs> out on the board. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now, I have a little bit of money. I'm going to spend four mm -hmm. gold. I'm going to bring in a dire raven into Urut. This creature is flying. They are feral and huge, so they don't worry about mountains and stuff like that. They're going to fly right over, and they have four movements. So I'm going to go one, two, Ooh. Mm, three, four down here. Boom. They're huge and, and flying. That. My gosh. Yes, so they're going to attack that settlement with two heavy dice and one light. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. Okay. Uh, one. All right, I got one, just one success. Okay. Gosh, Oof. dang it. That's lucky. That was good. Oh, that's brutal. Okay. Um, yeah, that's tough. I needed that one, man. Because that one was uncontested. All these other things are protected by people. Um, this one down here is uncontested. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for that. Let me go for that next. I'm gonna bring my person down here. One, two, three. They can go across the river. They get plus one movement for being on the road. Yep. And they're gonna attack that with one heavy, three light dice. My black axe. Nothing. All right, two successes All there. Right, there you go. All right, I'll um, again place control down there. I'll move in, get my gold out of that. Let's see, what can I do here? That's five. Yeah, that bit, that big old flying one was that was unlucky. That was brutal, man. Um, 
All right, I will Good gosh. Good golly. And then we go up here. I'm actually going to go across this little river, plus one, use two movement. It's about yeah, the fight thing. It's less to get through, right? It's less to get through. Go for an empty settlement, a little port settlement with my wolf rider. One. I got nothing. So I actually get killed by that. <laughs> Whoops. Well, then we're going to do anything else, so. Um, okay. Shoot whiz. I'm trying to think of what I can do. I mean, if you come into like still here, need... you can. Can you get to anywhere from there? I don't know if you can. No. I could bring someone else up from Ur. I could. I could bring in another dire raven. I might have to do that. And just try it again. I'm kind of thinking. It's not, so. the, it's not the worst idea, honestly. Yeah. Um. Because then, if I want to try and get that away from you, I have to go through your big old bird there, which is not ideal yeah. for me. So I'm gonna bring in my other dire raven. Man, you still got five bucks too, yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna bring them one, two, three, four, and try this again. Okay. All right. Boom. One. All right, got two, two successes okay. right there. There'll be plenty. Yep. I can roll to confirm the critical hit, but no need. So this bird Oof. will move in. Um, I'll get three gold for looting. Oof. Again, I Oof. think I'll place. Mm, control there. Boom. Okay, so I'm on one, one, two, three, four, five, six currently, but I really You're trying to do a seven. If I can at all manage it. I am, need I am to try about, to take this. I am worried about getting these away from you here. Yeah. Um mostly just because, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through you to do it. Right. So I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to this raise token to all of you just don't have enough movement. Sure. Um, so I don't have any more flying creatures or people that can get around real well. So I'm going to use uh, my Orc Reaver to attack your King's Crossbow. Now, again, you have range, so I you can break range. a tie. We get a tie here. Uh, I didn't two. roll successes. So they're going to die trying. Die. Die, you. Um. All right. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend four. I gotta go for it here. I gotta go full send. Yeah, you do. You gotta full send it. Yeah. Spend four to. Um, as long as you got money to pay for your control markers. Yeah. Which you need four, so yeah. I'm gonna bring in. Ooh. Well, I can always lay waste of stuff, so that'll, that'll be all That's right. That's true. I'm gonna bring in uh, my ogre. One, two, three. They can move in there ready because they're in my en entry hex, and I'm gonna try that again. So this gotta. is gonna be two light, two heavy dice. Gotta be enough. Gotta be enough. Nothing. I got one success, oh. a critical success. So if I can confirm oh. this, it all comes down to this. Oh, no. man. You're not fragile by chance, are you? Nope, no, right. you're hardy or a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Um, all right, I'm going to move my siege engine just here, get it out of the way. Yeah, you got to get for it, huh? Yeah, now I'm going to spend a black axe. This is this is really, because I really want a heavier hitter. Well, I guess we check for the victory at the end of the round. So you actually don't even need to pay for these control markers. No. Because that's at the beginning of the round. So you kind of just bring out, you don't need any extra money at the end of the round. Can't move. Actually, I'm going to bring in, sorry, a uh, wolf rider, because they can move far enough. Okay. So they go one, two, three, four to oh, get up I to see. here. So boom, we're going to attack. Once again, I got to get this done. This is two light dice and a heavy. No. One. <laughs> Gosh. That crossbow, um, you can't, can't die up there. Can't die. Too stout. Oof. Uh, okay, so I've got these. Um, One of your scouts could come here. Yeah, I got to keep trying, don't right? I? Right? I mean, I don't think I don't know if there's another spot you can just go at. I don't after, think so. Really. All right, two light dice. Oof. One success. Ooh, one. One. Well, I'm going to break tie, tie yeah, anyway. so it doesn't matter. And they are fragile, so they actually get removed completely by that. <laughs> this crossbow is unkillable. 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 I really want one more. Um, is there anything else oh, he can reach? No. I don't know. I don't think nope. so. Don't think so. You don't have any so. extra money. Yeah, I don't. I mean, this think I can so. go one, two, three. I can't get already. quite up. Yeah, they're done. Um, have I'm, you used that orc reaver up there? Oh, no, I haven't. Ooh, oh, I can God. go here and try. Don't you dare try Muffin Town. I would. You know what? <laughs> Muffin Town! 
He's out here talking smack. Muffin Town's, this, this is a mistake. They're never going down. Muffin Town's unkillable. <laughs> oh, this is, I'm, this is a folly. I should take you. It's okay. I've, I've committed. Muffin Town. One. One. No! <laughs> <laughs> Muffin Town! Dang it. Yank. Yank. Oh, man. That's hubris right there. That's right? hubris. You can't try to take me up and down. Uh, no, I sure cannot. Let's see. If I go one, two, three along the road, doesn't help me. I don't have any more money to then build out from here. I think that's all I can do, man. Um, I will move. You should get in one, there. One, two. Can, can't even quite get there oh, by man. getting nearby. Well, they oh, have free movement, don't they? Shoot. Yeah, but oh, I'm starting yeah. not on the road. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Um... Well, this person's on the road. Three. Uh, I also go up here and I'll attack your Iron Legion. Okay. Let's see if I can do something with that. Two successes. Oh, oh, two. Oof. All right, he killed. Nothing. Okay. All right. All right. That I think is all I can do. So I gotta hope it's enough. Yeah, I mean, I a that's... lot of your some of your stuff is. Kind of open. I will move into here. Yeah. Because you have one, two, three. Yeah, I think four, my five, mistake six. was I left this open, so I think you're just gonna be able to take it out. I mean, yeah. there was the garrison there, so it's not. Yeah, it's not completely. Hopeless. And I don't have a lot around, so I'm gonna get ten bucks. Yeah, I think I'll be able to do it because that's the that's the problem is like you need to move out. Yeah. But if you move you have out, to expand and but and take new stuff, but you kind of need to protect your back you line do, a little bit. Yeah, but you also don't, you only have three rounds, so it's like not like you have time to yeah. do these things, really. Um, so let's bring all these people back here. I think I should be able Come to. Come on. We'll see, I think I should be able to just walk in. And yeah, it's tricky with the orcs. It's tricky to manage. Move my people, ready? Um, okay, so I do have five. I'll bring in a Dragon Slayer and an Oath Taker, and I'll go my, actually I'll put my Oath Taker here, put my Dragon Slayer up there. That's my 10. I'll go ahead and use all three of my miners. Makes sense. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, because I can just go one. I guess I'll try and get in here with my Dragon Slayer. Come on, mighty Let's garrison. See. You must do it. Oh, I didn't hit. Oh, oh did that's, I. that's bad. Oh man, I should have put my oath. I should have put my oath taker up there. My garrison because, provides. Oh no, that's bad. Um, mm, 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 oh, and the problem mm, is, is mm. my iron legion up there is kind of blocked in. Uh oh. Okay, well I'll do is I'll go here, attack this orc sure. scout. Orc scout, they are fragile. Unfortunately, you got one success. I got one potentially crit. Can I confirm yep. it? Yeah, we had. Oh, I do. That's right. And I did confirm it. Okay. You do. That's going to take me off the map because they are fragile, and unfortunately. Then I'll move in, loot your belongings, Whoop. get out of here, orcs. No. <laughs> and then we could probably go ahead and call it there. Yeah, because I only have one, two, three, four, five. I mean, although this one, I don't think I would be able to get someone here to fight them. I can't because no, no. I only have two movement. I can't quite Came get down to, to the here. dice, man. Just couldn't. Uh, you know, it took so much energy to try to get this one down it here. Would, I don't think I would have been able to get there. And I mean, again, I spent money. Focusing on this, and I should have just gone to Muffin Town. Yeah, yeah, away. I should have gone straight to Muffin When in doubt, Muffin Town. Okay? Boom. They have muffins there, and it's great. And everyone loves muffins. Dwarves, orcs, you know. Orcs is muffins would be just so bad, though. Philadelphia, probably. Yeah. Probably Philly heads. So that was Burning Boom, Banners. Boom, Burning Banners. The oath, we took it. The oath, man, you swore that oath and you I held it true. The orcs were pushed back once yep. again. I, 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 I could have made a couple strategic choices yeah, different. Yeah, it's a little tough. Should have, should have divvied up my armies a little bit different, but hey, that's how we learn. And the orcs will come back stronger than ever in the future. Indeed. So that was Burning Banners. Again, big, big shout out to Compass Games for sponsoring this playthrough. And let us know um, if you've played Burning Banners down in the comments below or if you want to play it. Um, and make sure to check out the campaign for it, which will be down in the comments below, indeed. Absolutely. And I think that's going to be it. I'm Nick. I'm Mike. We're the Brothers Murph. We'll see you later, everybody. See you on next time at the Game House.